How has the colonial past shaped Africa's present and what might it mean for its future? This question, while seemingly straightforward, uncovers a complex network of influences and consequences that continue to shape Africa's trajectory today. Welcome to our exploration, our unraveling of the legacy left by colonial powers on the African continent. In the next few minutes and indeed throughout this series, we will be diving deep into the enduring impact of colonialism on Africa's economic, political, and social landscapes. Africa, a continent rich in resources and cultures, was subject to the whims of foreign powers for centuries. The legacy of this colonial past is not just a historical footnote, but a living, breathing part of Africa's present. It's a legacy that has shaped national borders, languages, economies, and political systems. It's a legacy that continues to influence the everyday lives of millions of Africans. Our journey begins with a look at the economic implications of colonial rule. How did foreign powers exploit Africa's rich resources and what effects does this exploitation have today? We'll explore how colonial economies were structured and how these structures have evolved, or in some cases persisted, shaping the economic realities of modern Africa. Next, we'll delve into the political legacy of colonialism. We'll examine how colonial powers established governments and systems of rule, how they drew national borders often without regard to indigenous cultures and societies, and how these decisions continue to impact politics and governance in Africa today. Finally, we'll explore the social legacies of colonial rule. We'll look at how colonial powers sought to reshape African societies, imposing their own cultural norms, languages, and educational systems. These changes, while often resisted, have left lasting marks on African societies and identities. Our exploration will be guided by the insights and perspectives of historians, scholars, activists, and community members. Their voices will help us to understand not just the facts of Africa's colonial past, but the lived experiences of those who continue to navigate its legacy. To understand Africa today we must first understand its colonial past. And so, with this understanding as our compass, let us begin our journey. Historian John Doe argues that the economic legacy of colonialism remains one of the most damaging. In the pursuit of wealth and power, the colonial powers exploited Africa's rich natural resources without a second thought. The extraction of these resources was rarely for the benefit of the local communities, instead, it fed the industrial machines of Europe, powering their growth while leaving the African continent depleted. Gold from Ghana, diamonds from Sierra Leone and rubber from Congo all found their way to foreign shores, creating immense wealth for the colonizers. But the exploitation didn't stop at natural resources. The colonial powers significantly disrupted local economies, often forcing communities to abandon their traditional livelihoods. Instead, they were coerced into roles that served the economic interests of the colonizers. Farmers were made to grow cash crops for export, like cotton and coffee, instead of food crops to feed their families. This not only led to food insecurity and famine, but it also made these economies heavily dependent on volatile, global commodity markets. This dependency was further entrenched by the creation of a reliance on foreign aid. During the colonial period, the economic power was highly centralized, with the colonial powers holding the purse strings. Post-independence, many African nations found themselves in a precarious position, with economies unable to sustain themselves without foreign assistance. The colonial powers, instead of building sustainable self-reliant economies, created systems that perpetuated dependency. They built railways and roads, not to connect African communities but to transport resources to the coast for export. They established education systems, not to empower the local populace, but to train clerks and intermediaries who would serve the colonial administration. Today, these economic scars still linger. Africa's wealth continues to be extracted, its economies remain largely dependent on commodity exports, and foreign aid still plays a significant role. The continent is still grappling with the economic structures and systems put in place by its colonizers. The economic legacy of colonialism in Africa is still very much alive. Scholar Jane Doe suggests that colonial rule has played a significant role in shaping Africa's political landscape. And indeed it's hard to refute this assertion when we delve into the depths of the continent's history. One of the most glaring political consequences of colonial rule was the creation of artificial borders, drawn with little regard for the diverse ethnic and cultural groups that had existed on the continent for centuries. This arbitrary carving up of the continent, often referred to as the scramble for Africa, 
disregarded traditional boundaries and tribal territories, lumping disparate groups together and in some cases, splitting cohesive ones apart. This disregard for the cultural and social fabric of Africa has resulted in enduring political tensions and conflicts, as these artificially created nations grapple with their identities and power dynamics. Alongside this, colonial rule fostered ethnic tensions by playing the divide and rule card. Colonial powers often favored one ethnic group over others, giving them access to education, power and resources. This favoritism sowed seeds of resentment and mistrust among ethnic groups, which have festered into deep-seated ethnic tensions that continue to fuel political instability and conflict in several African nations today. Moreover, the political systems left behind by colonial powers were not designed to promote democracy or participatory governance, instead they were autocratic regimes aimed at maintaining control and extracting resources. These systems, marked by centralization of power and suppression of dissent, have provided a blueprint for many post-colonial governments in Africa. The legacy of these autocratic structures is evident in the political instability, lack of democratic processes, and human rights abuses that have characterized many African nations in the post-colonial era. In essence, the political legacy of colonialism in Africa is a complex and multifaceted one, impacting the continent's political landscape in profound and enduring ways. Despite the passage of time, the echoes of this colonial past are still heard in the political realities of today's Africa. The political structures established during colonial rule continue to influence Africa's political dynamics. Activist John Smith contends that colonialism's social legacy is perhaps its most enduring. This sentiment echoes through the annals of Africa's history, reverberating with the profound social consequences of colonial rule. Imagine a rich tapestry of diverse cultures, each thread representing a unique tradition, a distinct language, a singular way of life. This was the social fabric of Africa before the colonial era, but with the advent of colonial rule, this beautiful tapestry was disrupted, torn apart. Indigenous cultures and traditions were marginalized, suppressed, or, in some cases, eradicated altogether. The colonial powers sought to replace these with their own Western values, creating a cultural dissonance that lingers to this day. These Western values were not simply imposed, they were entrenched. The colonial education system, for instance, was designed to inculcate Western ideals, philosophies and ways of life. Students were taught in foreign languages, their curriculum steeped in Western history and literature with little to no regard for their own heritage. The result? Generations of Africans growing up alienated from their own cultural roots, their identities fractured. And then there's the creation of social inequalities. Colonial rule was characterized by a rigid hierarchy, with the colonizers at the top, and the indigenous population at the bottom. This stratification was not just economic or political, it was social, it was entrenched in every aspect of daily life, from where one could live, to the jobs one could hold, to the respect one could command. This hierarchy did not disappear with the end of colonial rule. Instead, it morphed, evolved, persisted, contributing to the social inequalities that plague many African societies today. This is the social legacy of colonialism in Africa. It's a legacy of disrupted cultures, imposed values, and deep-seated inequalities. It's a legacy that continues to shape the continent, influencing social norms, attitudes, and behaviors. It's a legacy that underscores the importance of understanding history, not just to make sense of the present, but to shape a better future. The social scars left by colonial rule continue to shape Africa's societies. Scene script. Community member Jane Smith shares her perspective on the enduring impact of colonialism. Let's delve into the hearts and minds of those living this legacy. Imagine the stories told around a humble fire passed down generations, echoing the tales of a time when Africa was carved up like a pie by foreign powers. These are not just stories, but a lived reality for millions, a testament to the resilience of the human spirit. Meet Jane Smith, a teacher from Nairobi, Kenya. Jane talks of how the colonial education system, with its emphasis on European history and languages, still lingers today. Our children learn more about the Thames than the Nile, more about Shakespeare than Soyinka, she says, her voice a mix of frustration and determination. We are slowly rewriting our curriculum to reflect our heritage, our history, our heroes. Then we have Paul Okiki, a farmer from Lagos, Nigeria. Paul speaks of the agricultural policies, remnants of colonial rule that favor cash crops over food crops. We were taught to grow what they needed, not what we needed, he explains, his hands roughened by years of toiling the soil. We are still unlearning this. 
In the bustling streets of Accra, Ghana, we hear from Ama Mensa, a local activist. Ama discusses the social fragmentation caused by colonialism. They divided us, she says, into tribes, into regions, into religions. But we are more than their divisions. We are one Africa. From Casablanca to Cape Town, from Dakar to Dar es Salaam, the voices reverberate, each adding a unique note to the symphony of the African experience. They speak of struggles and triumphs, of a past marred by exploitation, but also a future brimming with promise. Their narratives, their experiences, their realities, weave a tapestry as diverse and vibrant as the continent itself. These are not just voices, but echoes of a history that refuses to be silenced, a history that continues to shape the present. The voices from the community bring a personal dimension to the legacy of colonialism. As we look to the future, we must consider how the legacy of colonialism will continue to shape Africa. Understanding the past is not merely an academic exercise but a necessary strategy for charting the path forward. The remnants of colonial rule, while deeply entrenched, are not insurmountable. It is through this understanding we can inform future strategies for development and reconciliation. Scholars and activists alike point to the enormous potential within Africa, a continent rich in diversity and resources. They argue that acknowledging and addressing the colonial past can inspire a new chapter of growth and autonomy. For instance, by revisiting historical injustices, there's an opportunity to rebalance economic structures, redistribute wealth, and foster social cohesion. The legacy of colonialism has also created a unique resilience among African nations. This resilience coupled with an increasingly educated and vibrant youth population is a potent force for change. Harnessing this energy can drive innovation, entrepreneurship and a reimagining of the African narrative on a global scale. However, the road to progress is not without challenges. The scars of colonial rule run deep, impacting everything from national borders to cultural identities. Overcoming these obstacles will require a nuanced understanding of the past, a commitment to justice, and a collective will for change. Activists on the ground are already leading the way, advocating for inclusive policies, pushing for transparency and governance, and championing grassroots initiatives. Their work serves as a beacon of what is possible when the past is confronted with courage and the future is approached with optimism. There's a growing consensus that the negative legacies of colonial rule can indeed be overcome. It's a journey that demands tenacity, solidarity, and a refusal to be shackled by the past. Yet, it's a journey that Africa is more than capable of undertaking. The legacy of colonialism is a part of Africa's story, but it need not define its future. Unraveling the legacy of colonialism is a complex task, but it is necessary for understanding Africa's present and shaping its future. We've journeyed through the economic, political and social scars etched into the fabric of this vibrant continent, a poignant reminder of a past that continues to shape the present. We've heard from the community, their voices echoing their struggles, their perseverance, and their hopes for a brighter, more equitable future. Looking forward it's clear that acknowledging and addressing the impact of colonialism is pivotal. It's a task that requires collective effort, a blend of historical understanding, empathy, and actionable measures. The history of colonialism in Africa is not just a story of exploitation and subjugation, but also one of resilience and strength. By unraveling the legacy, we can better understand the past, navigate the present, and shape the future of Africa.